team as well as we watch the replay here of Dillman and Onidi. And this now is Dillman trying to get back past Onidi. Has that inside line. Lovely move from Tom Dillman. Great stuff. Yeah, great move really. Uh stood there on the outside and just knew he was uh, he was in the inside for second corner so uh, great move from Tom I've been impressed with Tom Dillman I thought he looked great in GP3 last year he made an instant impression in the GP2 final in Abu Dhabi and uh, a quick kid I think somebody definitely to watch out for uh, in this year in GP2 yes definitely he's very quick uh, he started actually in Formula Renault 1.6 in uh, in Belgium where, where I started a long time ago and um, he's always been very quick. Not not the driver with the most means, uh, obviously with the with the most budget, but uh, always been quick and uh, still still out there to race. So it's great for him. Well, he was one of the last drivers to be confirmed for this season at the Rapax team that won the title two years ago. They were the last team to confirm their lineup, and I remember. Uh, I do follow Tom on Twitter and, and it was agonizing over the winter watching him testing and saying I still don't have the budget, I still don't have the budget, I don't know if I'm going to be able to race and then suddenly last minute he's in at Rapax, absolutely delighted for him. A big difference between the, in speed between the two cars, so we're talking between half a second to a second, it is very, very difficult to, uh, to overtake. Dillman putting the move on Rodolfo Gonzalez keeping his beans together and making another lovely move through turn one he's enjoying that corner today is surprising, uh, surprising overtake from Kral who I thought had got it all wrong but Harry Anto clearly out breaking himself as well as Dillman now gets onto the back of Harry Anto into turn four can't quite get it done an interesting move though yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, Arianto has been pretty hard on these uh, on these tires and these rear tires, as you've seen uh, in the last in the last lap to make uh, the overtake and frustrate the tires as much. And this is where they will make the difference. Massively impressive weekend from Luis Razzia. Gotta say, uh, he uh, he's been in GP2 for for quite some time, but uh, this year seems to come, have come back and he really matured halfway through last year, and uh, he certainly has grown. As a, as a man and as a driver over this winter period and has come back really prepared, really ready, fitter than I've ever seen him. And uh, yesterday race He's winner and today weekend and Dillman going for Arianto on this last lap, down the back straight into the final corner. Arianto somehow trying to hold on despite wearing those tyres out. Dillman, great drive out of the final corner. GP3 uh, and to have won on your opening weekend in GP2. OK, it's the reverse grid race and he started from pole. But to look after the tyres in these temperatures, this race started with a track temperature of 47, 48 degrees. To look after those tyres, to put up with the pressure of, of a guy like Esteban, who we know is a hard racer. We saw the, you know, the drive that he put in yesterday, starting 15th and uh, finishing 7th.